who dies the day before they're supposed to testify before a federal grand jury. Why would they get so many facts wrong on your autopsy? <laughs> and why did they almost drop the coffin twice? And why did so many of your friends and family say that you didn't look like you at the funeral? And why would your own father spell your middle name wrong? And why hasn't anyone drawn anything from your life insurance policy? It must have been worth millions. Who are they trying to fool? I want my pills. That's not who you are now, remember? You ready to see yourself? No. It's completely up to you. What's my name? Jesse Garen, my brother. This isn't Graceland, that's for sure. But I did what I did to protect my family. It was the only way. <laughs> I just gotta get used to having a day job. Hey, where's Jesse? Smoke break. Smoke break? What's he doing, smoking the whole pack? Oh, Mikey, I keep telling him to go away so I can spend more time alone with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that weasley little frat boy. He gives me the creeps the way he's always watching us. You think he trusts grown adults to do their work? Don't worry, I clocked you in already. Yeah. Thank you, Shirley. Your hands are shaking real bad today. You know, you're like a little chick to hatch out of her egg. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you're like a little innocent, like a little bird. I'm gonna call you Chick for now. Shove it. <laughs> Get my hair wet and I'll kill you. I haven't seen hair that high in like 10 years. I keep my coin purse and my cigarettes in there. You know my fortune by the size of my bouffant. The higher my hair, the closer I am to retirement. <laughs> what happens when it's flat? I have to pick up extra shifts at this dump. <laughs> <laughs> and what's a cool bird like you 
do it on your own. Had a husband. I loved him. Helped me with the kids. Didn't hit me or nothing. But you can be in a marriage and still feel lonesome, you know what I mean? Wasn't no other man, wasn't a big fight, nothing like that, just wasn't happy. I looked at my life and I couldn't imagine living it one more day. This is my big start. <laughs> a chance to just live life the way I want to. I talk too much. I like it. I like you. Where have you been? Oh, uh, uh, my boss was late. Hmm. So you lied to me and you clocked in an absent coworker. That is against policy. Uh, Mr. Brewster, sir, it's not her fault. You're fired. And I'd fire you too if I didn't think you were too dumb to plan it yourself. Uh, Mr. Brewster, you sure that I'm fired? Oh, yes, I'm sure. Now beat it. She's more tender than you, pompous piece of shit. Too close to the deep end there, Lisa Marie. Elvis. Is sir my little satin? Is that my big, strong fire rise? Thought you should be on stage already. Uh, they can wait. Uh, can't do nothing until I talk to my little good luck charm. My widow youngin. Haven't been a youngin in a while, fire rise. That was the problem. Anyway, just one more show and you get to rest, huh? I got some tickets. I'll get them out to you. One for you. One for Lisa Murray. <laughs> Don't think we'll quite make it to your first number. Not the council show. I'm talking two one-way tickets to Memphis. First class. Plane tickets? What happened to your jet? No, oh, she's grounded, baby. I can't afford gas anymore. Oh, baby. I'm lost without you. I'm falling apart. What about Ginger? <clears throat> She's, you know. She's young. Get him hell out there, Fares. Priscilla. Priscilla. started 40 minutes ago. He likes to pray before he goes on stage. <laughs> God help me. I should have signed Liberace. I bet he wasn't such a pain in the ass. You think you would have made as much money?
I'm so tired when I'm with you. So oh, no, no. <laughs> when I'm with you, sweet. Stars appear. When, when I start to record. I said start to record now. You, yeah, Mr. Q. Hey, you hear me? Oh, you what the hell, Mr. Damn Q? Hey, well, what are you doing? Come on, Elvis, get back on the stage, man! Get singing. Hey, you muffin headed freak! I got something for you, has been. Don't talk to me like that. Dude, get off the stage. Get out there, help him. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. What happened to you, man? I'm trying to break his goddamn neck. Miss you, Farris. Why'd you do it, honey bear? Come home, Daddy. No, please, don't go. Come back. Come back. Thirsty. So you're awake, sleepyhead. <clears throat> Wondering where your dim beam got to? I hit it. Have some water. Bet you ain't had any homemade food in a while. Go on and eat it. Mmm. Peanut butter and mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> it's all you had. It's perfect. Southern habits die hard, huh? You don't meet too many good old boys like you up here. <sighs> Peanut butter and mayonnaise. Reminds me of being a girl in Kentucky. Just missing the bacon. Now you're talking my language. Thanks for getting me home. You didn't get in too much trouble at work, did you? You don't have to worry about that anymore. Mm. I'm sorry, Chick. Chick. I ain't been a spring chicken in a long time. What's wrong? Nothing. You should remind me of somebody I used to know. You know, just like Anne Margaret. Anybody ever told you that? You old tease. Sweet Shirley made it easier to let go of the past and start my new life. Although I wish sometimes I could share those old memories, but that wasn't real living. Now, for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm finally home. Shut that big son of a bitch what's what? You lucky they break his neck. That's what I call TCB taking care of business. You heard Elvis? You sitting there thugging after me? Me? You got the rights to my voice. Lord knows you got the rights to my face. What do you need me for? Elvis, I've been with you for two decades. Hell, you were nobody when I met you. I turned you into a god. There's only one god. I'm just a sinner. Are you? Elvis, come on. Come on. Let's go. Talk to me, Daddy. What's really going on? It's been a long tour. Lots of cities. It was a long stint in Vegas before that. We're just all tired, but... I think you're exactly right what you said. You need some new security. I said that. You were 
leading up to it. Son, those, those boys down there, they're not cops, they're your friends. And they can call themselves bodyguards or road managers or whatever, but all they really do is eat and drink and live off the money you make. And nobody but Joe does a damn thing to earn it. These are people that I trust. You're saying that's a mistake. Yeah, I am. It's a mistake to trust them. It's a mistake to put your life in their hands, and I'm not going to do that, you understand, son? Well, you said the one person you can trust is your daddy. I think, uh, I think Sila said that. I just think we need to get someone with a little more muscle in red. Someone's trying to kill me. I've known him for a long time. I know he's behind it. Red? Mike. Sila's pretty boy, gold digger boyfriend. No, it was, it was just a fan. I want you to put a hit on him. I'm not gonna do that. Kill him before it kills me. Go home now. Now you just relax. And just think about it. tomorrow, everything's gonna look different. I might not have it tomorrow, Daddy. We gotta handle this now, today. Son, I... All right. I promise I'll make a call. Hey, you just get some rest. Daddy loves you. Miss Traffic Safety, 1976. Miss Mid-South. I'm so bored here. I miss my folks. Uh, Honey Bear, can't we just have them to fly out to visit, please? Please, please, please. Daddy handles the boat. You, you gotta talk to him. You tired, Elvis? You're too tired for me. No, baby, just, just let me get some of my, my pills up here real quick. Ah. I was thinking maybe when we get back to Memphis, we can take up some racquetball or something. It might be fun. Might help you lose that little tummy. <sighs> well, what's wrong? Ah, damn it. You're, you're too aggressive. When I'm with you, it feels like I'm with a, a guy or something. Honey bear. Why don't you just get out of here? And come back when you can act like a lady. Scylla. Ginger. Ginger, I'm... I'm, I'm sorry, baby. I'm acting like an animal. You're my, you're my ginger. You're my gingerbread. My sweet. Please don't leave me. I love you, Elvis. Yes, this is uh, Vernon Presley. Right, we met in Virginia. You said to get in touch with you if he ever needed any help. I appreciate that. Uh, we're, we're at Graceland now. Uh, as soon as possible. 
Thank you. You gotta be prepared all the time. You never know who's gunning for you around the next corner. Might be a rat in the house, boys. Any idea who it might be? Any? Many? Money? No. Boom! <laughs> How you doing? Aaron Presley. Oh. Agent Thomas Colton, FBI. I work with the agent Huxley, whom you know. Oh, he's a good man. Yeah, he approached me and told me about the file y'all keep on my boy, the death threats, the offers from the mob. Right between us. Something on your mind, Joe? Seen you eyeing me all day. Well, I'm just wondering where your little journal is, that's all. Get too many thoughts. When you get one, I like to jot it down right quick. Posterity. Yeah, nothing like selling out your friend for a few bucks from the Inquirer, right? It's not like that. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. I always think there's somebody here that's a traitor. Someone's trying to set him up. You even think somebody might be trying to kill him. Not nothing. He's delusional. Has been ever since Scylla left, and you know it. Why not just like that? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. No one's looking at me. No one's looking at me. No one's looking at me. Only thing I know is I always want to react too kindly if he knew you were sitting here taking notes on everything he said. I'm not. Okay, I got this. I got turn that music down, please. And turn that music down. You ought to know better than that, Joe. We've been friends a long time. I said turn that crap down! I ought to shut him up. Am I under arrest? Shoot, I didn't know good taste was against the law. <laughs> Elvis, this is Agent Thomas Colton. He's your new security. Welcome to Graceland, Chief. What the hell are you doing here? Hey, I want to show you something. Look at this. I got this in 1969. Nixon himself gave it to me. I was in the White House and I said, I'm not leaving until I get a badge. I figured, you know, I could maybe get a job, protection, you know, Dylan or the Beatles or something, some kind of hippie trash, but Hoover wanted nothing to do with me. I guess I wasn't his type. Yeah, and I got, I got badges for every city I've been in. I got keys to every police station, morgue, you name it, city. I even, I even got one of those, uh, those sirens that you stick on your car. I got one of them. Mm. I'll show it to you. <laughs> I remember when I was able to get out, you know, drive around a little bit. I would take Scylla and the boys, and we just go cruising. I would chase these uh, sons of bitches, you know, for speeding. <laughs> one time, I, I, I broke up this fight in a gas station. <laughs> I. <laughs> Well, I kicked this cigarette right out of this guy's hand. I mean, I just kicked it. And this guy's eyes bugged out of his head when he realized it was me. He's just like, is, it, is that you, Elvis? Is that you? 
That was a long time ago. And I can't, I can't sing anymore. I don't know if I ever will again. So maybe, you know, maybe it's time for something else. So I was thinking, you know, uh, maybe I could do something like you. I, I could be like you, helping people. You don't have to be in the FBI to help people. Yeah, but see, I, I got a badge. You could get me a assignment. I'm a black belt in karate. I serve my country in the military. I'm ready. I can do this. You know, the FBI didn't want you back then. What makes you think they want you now? Here's the thing. I was thinking about this. See, when I get too famous, I mean, I, I can't go anywhere anymore, but drug dealers and pimps and mobsters, they would all come into me. So, you know, maybe I can help out the government and, you know, they can help me and maybe help me get clean. Tell you what, I'll make a few phone calls, see what I can do. Can I get the hell out of my head? <laughs> His name is Frederick Peter Perel. He's a leader of the fraternity. Okay, it's a racketeering group. They're dangerous? Slippery. They buy big ticket items out of Florida with checks from the Caribbean. Uh, got it. From a fake bank. Then they resell the items before the checks can bounce. You're gonna have to sell your plane. Release Marie. Hey, Pro's a fan. He's a groupie at heart, okay? He's gonna wanna meet you himself in person. Okay. When he does, that's when you have to get him to sign the check. That's the most important part, that you get him to sign that check. No expenses were spared with that Lisa Marie, you Doesn't know Doesn't look that. like it, but tell me something. How come Mr. Presley's selling? Money troubles? Upgrading, baby. As always, always upgrading. That's the king you're talking about there. We'll have agents waiting to nab him. You want me to, you want me to get in there and get like some kind of chokehold on? No, just sell the plane. Sell the plane. That's all. Sell the plane Got it. and use some of those acting skills that they don't allow you to use in Hollywood. Now look, a couple things when you meet E. That's Elvis. Always look him in the eye. All right, this is business. Where else would I look? I like that. I like that. No fan stuff either. All right. I'll try to keep it in check. All right. It's Operation Fountain Pen. And it's riding on you. Here we go. Peter Pro, meet Vernon Elvis Presley. Hello, sir. Welcome. Mr. Presley, it is a real pleasure. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. <clears throat> How was your flight? I love stewardesses with every ounce of my beating heart. You got good taste, huh? You can't go wrong with stewardesses. No, you cannot. But it looks like your flights are going to get a lot more uh, roomier now. Well, I've been looking for a jet star to convert into a cargo plane, and yours seems to fit the bill. I just saw her on the tarmac. She is beautiful. I am a bit surprised you're selling them, Mr. Presley. Named after your daughter, that must be sentimental. Sean, keep the lights on. A lot of lights you got here. So, uh, Mr. Pro, what exactly is it you do again? Well, I got my hand in a bunch of ventures. Ah. But I make most of my money off shipping. You look like a shipping man to you, Daddy? Don't ask me. Everyone looks like they could be a part of the Manson family as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <clears throat> Mr. Presley, I believe there's been a misunderstanding. If you don't want to deal with me directly, I can have my lawyer contact you. That's no problem. Don't pay my daddy no mind. We're just busting your chops. No, no, no. I, I didn't mean no offense. Sit down. Just funny we sit. Come on, sit down. <laughs> now, it's a real standard transaction. I must admit the fact that it was your plane, well, that did interest me. What do you need to know to feel comfortable? We gonna do cash or check? Check will be fine. Well, here you go. Thank you. There you go. <clears throat> here we go. Merchantile, bank and trust. Sounds phony. Oh, what's that, the West Indies? We're about 150 just like it. No taxes, no questions, no problem, no hassle. Big star like yourself, I'm surprised you're not set up out there. 
Shoot, I should fire my daddy. Give you all my money. I would be happy to do business, Mr. Presley, but why don't you keep him on? He can count the money I make you. So what was in the ad again? Was it a, a million? Or are you going to haggle me for the price? A million was in the ad. And I came here already with the check filled out. I have no intention of haggling. I have an intention of buying. Uh, one more thing. Is it all right if I give your bank a call? No, this man's about to sign. Signature's no good to me, Daddy. The bank's fake. By all means, Mr. Presley. Number's right in the back of the check. He's about to sign, Elvis. It's fine. We have wonderful people over there at the bank. Give him a call. Just be a sec. It's ringing. How about you do karate? No need to get that close for me. It's still ringing. Still ringing, Daddy. There must be a lot of customers. Mercantile Bank and Trust. It does exist. This is Elvis Presley. I have Frederick Peter Pro sitting right across from me with a check for a million dollars. Is he good for it? Of course. Let me check our records. They're going to check the records. Oh, yes, Mr. Pro is one of our most esteemed customers. He has more than enough in his account to cover the check, Mr. Presley. May I assist you with anything else? You've been enough help. Thank you. You're all good. I guess I can sign now. You can sign, myself. Unless there's anything else. It's all good. There you are, sir. It was a pleasure doing business with you. My daddy's and I take over from here. And you. Uh, all right, there's just a, f a few more uh, pieces of paperwork to fill out for the FAA. So if he's the king, does that make you his jester? I'm far from it. I, I deal with his money. There ain't no jesting about that. Freeze, FBI, get on the ground. I said, get on the ground. Cute gun. Cheap suit, constipated face. You are FBI, aren't you? Frederick Peter Pro, you're under arrest for fraud. If you think I'm the brains behind whatever operation got your panties in the bunch, I swear to God, I'm not a part of this thing. Oh, we'd love to hear all about it. I'll tell you a story. One time I was. Come on now, I just got shot. Goodness, get him out of here. Enjoy screwing your ugly wise.
entourage is a liability. Well, he won't let any of them go. He thinks they're all his friends. Well, one of them is a convicted narcotics dealer. Not surprised. Which one? Uh, Italian guy. Name's Angelo. Son? He choked on his food. Oh. <coughs> you all right, son? Can you breathe? <coughs> what happened? Who poisoned my food? You fell asleep while chewing, Elvis. Weren't no poison. I want my, I want my daughter. I want Lisa Murray. All right, all right, just relax. I'll get her for you. <laughs> Anybody feel that it got about 20 degrees hotter? Hopefully 18 at least. <laughs> Excuse me. Miss, your name? Mia. Mia Rogers. And how long have you been working for the Presleys? I just started. May I see some identification? Yeah, she looks like a real criminal, Colton. Why don't you go ahead and let me come down, pat her down. Thank you. Please open the bag. I need to inspect your luggage. Yeah, go ahead, Frisker. All right, chuckleheads, cool it. Come on, sweetheart. I'll show you what Pawpaw's got you. Joe? Uh, that's not necessary. Any new visitors need to be searched for weapons. No exceptions. I have weapons around this entire house. The little lady wants a gun. She could find one pretty handy. Well, considering your concern, that's also a mistake. Why don't you let the pretty lady just do her job? <laughs> she doesn't want you to go through her bag. It's really, it's whatever you think, Mr. Presley, sir. Oh, please. Call me Elvis. I'm glad you're here, Miss Maya. Lisa Marie's out back with Vernon, uh, showing off her new pony. Mr. Presley. I'm surprised at your resistance to a simple back search. Well, your father was telling I me. I just want you to let the little lady alone, OK? That's it. When I say something, that's it. Hi. I'm Ginger. I'm Mia. You see, I didn't hire you. My daddy did. I hired Red. Red's been with me a long time because he knows how to get along. And if you don't know how to get along, you don't stay around too long. Nobody hired me. I'm assigned by the US government. A favor my boss chose to do for you and your father. So is this your first time to Graceland? It is. It's beautiful here. Yes, it and is. Your house is so big. My house is very big so and lovely. ornate and beautiful. Yes. You are also very beautiful. Thank you. So are you. Thank you. I love your dress. I just want you to just. Loosen up a little bit, Colton. Just loosen up. Loosen the shoulders up a little bit. <laughs> Relax. Have a drink or something. Where'd he say to go? Come on, I'll take him to the stables. Okay. Just trying to get along. Fed's a pain in the ass. The guy's changing everything. Over there telling me he's gonna do the safety sweeps on tour. That's always been my job. Then he's convincing Joe to dress up like you between venues. Said we needed a double. And now he's frisking broads. Man needs to drink or ball or get socked in the eye. And I can't tell which order. He's right though. You need something to eat? Your medicine? He's having a hard time breathing. All right, I'll get Vernon. Red. I'm getting this feeling I, like I'm about to die, and I, I don't know how. 
Could be a man running at me with a gun. Could be me having a heart attack right here, right now. It's coming, Red. The end, it's coming. Any time now. What can I do? Is it true that uh, Dago Angelo's selling drugs? Who told you that? It's what I heard. That's all. Is it true? Son of a bitch! You buy anything off him? No, not me. Some of the others have. Just soft stuff like hash. God damn it! Maybe coke. In my house. How should I build for my mama? She'd be rolling around her grave. She found out I'd turn this place into some kind of opium den. I mean, E, you're always taking them pills. Their prescription. That scumbag, Angelo. I, I, I should have known. I bet he's in the mob. I bet they're mad because I'm not doing any kind of deal like Sinatra. I bet he's the man behind these attacks. I don't know about that, E. We're going to do something. We're going to do something today. You think you can, uh, distract Colt? I think I can handle that. Looks like we'll be playing your favorite game tonight. Um, Mr. Presley, I'd rather not participate. Nah, Chief. You're my protection. Protect me. Y'all ready? Set. War! Point of this game. Just like life, you don't get shot. this for Castro Angelo he's finished hey I'm not sure what's going on I don't know I thought we were just gonna kick him out of Graceland rough him up a little drug dealing scum doesn't deserve to live that's the problem in the country right now nobody obeys the laws anymore yeah okay the game's gonna cover the noise here's the plan you and I are gonna pull him aside Bam, we're gonna fill them full holes. We never left of them. Maybe we can just call the cops, come bust him. You don't understand. It's either him or it's me. We gotta get a drop on him right now. No. I ain't killing anybody. I need you to do this for me. And I'm telling you no. We've been friends since we played football together. And trust me when I say I love you like a brother. But you're out of control. And you're high out of your damn mind if you think I'm gonna murder for you. Come on. Walk away from me. Hey, hey, hey. You're right. Death is coming for you. You've been shuttling your mouth by the fistful. It's the pills making you like this, eh? It's not you. Let me get you some help. There's places that can help you now. Please. Get out. Don't do this, E. Get out! Hello? 
Those idiots. What the hell kind of game is this, huh? Oh my god. Has everyone lost their okay. damn minds? You really do need to calm down. It is not that big of a deal. They're just hazing you. They do it because they like you. Colton, don't be so mad. Okay, where in the hell are they? You're acting very gruff. Listen, Elvis loves to do this because his BB guns, they're just something fun. Even it pisses me off too, I understand. But there's no reason to be so upset. Well, this is ridiculous. No, it's not. Listen, I know that you're a professional. I know that you're a professional, but this is Graceland. It's different. Here's what I got I was telling you about. That's enough. Before I arrest you, too. That's the best shot I was telling you about. He's coking up my whole crew. You, you back me up, yeah, please. Yeah, you had to sell me hash, man. You're under arrest. We got him. We got him. Hey, I quit. When you're finished that, Chief, come back up here. I, I got to talk to you about something. You are a man of the law, Colton. I respect that. I always thought if I wasn't a singer, I'd be some kind of officer. I apologize about the pool house. You deserve better than that. I can't stay with you. I don't know how to protect someone who says he doesn't want to die, but does everything in his power to get himself killed. My mom was buried here. This was all supposed to be for her. Everything. Christland, my career, all of it. I just want to make her proud and but she up and died before she could enjoy any of it. I started taking drugs in the Army. Now I started needing dexedrines to wake up and way leads to go to sleep. I haven't been myself in a long time. You know, keep it up, and there's going to be headlines. Elvis Presley found dead. I know. I told him I wouldn't be buried right next to my mama. I was born a twin. My twin died, and I lived. I thought all the luck that I had was because I had the luck of two people. Me and my brother, Jesse Garen. Jesse sacrificed his life for me, and I wasted it. So God's punishing me. That's why I can't sing. That's why all this is happening. You know, all this is you. You want to please God? Quit dicking around and do something good for once. I tried. I tried today. I could have killed that bastard, but I, I held back. That's a good thing, right? Colton, you still quit? I'm going to bed. Quit in the morning. Mm. Uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> Can I get up there too? Please. Pose. <laughs> you still, uh, still mad at me? Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, because I was thinking. I had this idea. So you got some for me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. I wonder what it will be wonder this what time. Be. I was thinking. Could it be? What I was thinking about was, uh, what do you think about maybe uh, getting married? What? I'm asking you. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And two great men, my daddy, and Colton, and making America safe again. Cheers. A and to our engagement. What's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. And to Ginger. No, you, you mean to our engagement. Yeah, baby. Whatever you want. I got Red and his cousin Sonny on the phone. Red's mad as hell about something. Won't tell me what. Lay him off, both of them. You sure? I don't need them anymore. All right. 
Thanks for letting me borrow your dress. My boss wants you to testify in court against Pro. I already told him I would. No. If you agree to testify, you'll bring a lot of attention to this case. The mob doesn't like attention. That's putting a big X right on your back, and I'd be remiss if I didn't advise you against it. I want to bring attention to it. I told your boss yes already, and I told the reporter who asked about it yes already. You're making trouble for yourself now. I'm counting on it. What did you see? The man with the beard in, in a blue truck. Uh, I was trying to leave through the front gate, and, and when I wouldn't let them in, he said to give Elvis a message, and then he threw that, that, that bomb! She's shaking like a leaf. Okay, well, well, what was the message they gave you? It's okay, little one. You can tell us. It's okay. They said... You're dead. Your father's dead. Your whole family's dead. And do you last? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I'm on. I'm on the way. I'm on the way to my soul. I'm on the way to my soul. I'm on. I'm on the way to. You look like shit. Any more death threats? Three phone calls, two letters. They say anything about hurting you, my little girl? I'm sorry. I thought they were just gonna come after me. I figured they didn't want to hurt anybody else. I wish you'd reconsider going to court. What was the point of meeting with Pro if I'm not gonna testify in court? I mean to do something important in my life. Something good. This could be my only shot. Daddy, I can't even sing anymore. This is all I got. I buried your brother and your mother. Please don't make me bury you too. I want this. Lisa Marie is missing. What? Lisa Marie! Lisa Marie! Lisa Marie! Wait! Hey, wait! Let's get the men together and do a sweep outside. Good. Uh, uh, okay, Joe. Joe! Lisa Marie! Joe! Lisa Marie! Sons of bitches. I'm gonna kill for trying to hurt my little girl. when I first met you.
Oh, sweetheart. My baby, we Marie. There she is. She was in the basement the whole time. Oh. Says so she was playing hide and seek. Oh, you got me so worried, baby. Oh, Louisa Marie. I'm so glad you're okay. Come on, sweetheart. I'll get you a Coke at the cafeteria. Oh, baby's all right. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know what happened. I took my usual pills. I never ever do it. I got this book, it's got uh, interactions of every prescribed pill known to man. This has never happened before. I found this. You put this deposition on my desk as if you weren't planning on being there for the court date at all. As if you were planning to be gone. I thought they hurt my little girl. I thought it'd be my own damn fault. Colonel Parker get merchandising. Lisa Marie Chilla. My dad get life insurance policy. Their money troubles will go away. No more death threats. No more dramatics. No more me. I'm tired of waiting around for someone to kill me. I'm ready to get over with myself. Well, aren't you a sad sack of shit? Don't make me laugh. <clears throat> Throat sore. That'd be from the stomach pump. Elvis, there's more than one way to disappear. There's a project started about seven years ago. It's called the Witness Protection Program. We take people whose lives are in jeopardy for testifying against dangerous people, and we put them someplace safe. We give them new names, new towns to live, and even new faces if necessary. We give them whole new lives to live. You're saying you're gonna move me and my family no. out of the country? No, I'm saying we hide you alone. It'd be a secret from everyone, even the people you love. You leave your entire life behind and just become a normal person. <laughs> How's Elvis Presley become normal? Not Elvis Presley, you. Think about it, Elvis. It might be the best way to keep your family safe. And now I hear there's been bombs? And you overdosed? Elvis, I can't have Lisa Marie around those things. If she's not on a plane back to me in the next two days, I'm coming to get her myself. I told you, your best friend, Red, wrote a tell-all about you. The press is eating it up. You were right, E. It was a rat. You were right all along. I'm bored. I can't stay pent up like this. Let's go wedding planning. Or go meet up with my friends. How come I never get to show you off? Maybe you just need one or two? Just for a little pep? Hmm? Yeah, maybe two. I'll do it. What's wrong? Elvis? Sleep. Let's go to the bathroom, Marie. 
Okay. Then fall asleep. I love you, Ginger. I really do. Elvis. You tell me that's not true. How's it gonna go down? Everyone has to be asleep. We think the fraternity bribed someone into working for them on the inside. Someone who had access to the house, knew about your pill habit. Someone who just happened to be around every time something would go wrong. The nanny. If the fraternity thinks you're dead, they'll leave it alone. should go home.
She made her move. I'm ready. What about my daddy? He was there during the bus. They made threats against him, yeah, too. he's not the one with the big name. Once you're dead, they'll leave him alone, too. What if you're wrong? I'll look after him. I promise. What about a body? A John Doe. Our doctor's fixed up. Died of an overdose. Look like me? <laughs> he does now. My daddy's gonna know. You're not gonna fool him with the double. Everyone looks different when they're dead, all this. He's no fool. No, he's... he's not. Hello? It's Joe. Scylla. I'm sorry. Elvis is dead. Is Lisa Marie now? No. Uh, no one's talked to her directly about it yet, but she, she must understand. Oh, and listen, get here as soon as you can. Uh, Vernon wants him buried immediately. You know, like tomorrow. Tomorrow? Why so soon? I'm not I'm not sure. He, he's just assisting upon it. I'm on my way. Get a good one. It's time, baby. This ain't Elvis. It's definitely not Elvis. It didn't matter after all if the coffin was open or closed. The tabloids had a field day anyway. Sometimes people just aren't ready to let go. Sometimes it's never over. Which brings me back to Shirley. Sweet Shirley. In my new simple life as Jesse Garin. My son. This man? Told you I was old. <laughs> oh, thanks for cleaning up. Kind of embarrassing you. I see all my stuff. You don't have to be embarrassed of anything. Not now. I'm sorry, Chick. I have to go for a while. I can't promise when I'll be back. How close can you get me to Memphis? Lisa! Lisa! 
Lisa, baby. Lisa, baby, it's me. Lee. I know you're still alive. Come on, where are you? Hey, get over here! Oh. Give me that camera! Stop the bitch. Lee, baby, Lisa! What are you doing out here? You should be packing. Joe's waiting to put the rest of your boxes in the car. But... I know. Looky lose. We should start charging since they won't stop coming. Hey, Vernon. Where you going? I'm going to the bank. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Vernon. I'm fine. You want to take care of some? Take care of them jerk offs that keep getting on the property. Anybody got a, a car I can use? Anybody? Hey, excuse me, excuse me anybody? Can you have a car I can use, sir? A car, anything? Anybody, please? An anybody have a car I can use? Or a bike or something? Sir, sir, you, you have a car I can use? You don't have a car I can use right now? I just, man, anybody have a car I can use right now? Any something? Anybody? Get in! Can you can you drive any faster? I know who you are. I was hopping the fence. Recognize you from a distance. They did a good job, but your uh, profile is exactly the same. Where they put you, huh? South Carolina, uh, Canada. You're mistaking me for somebody else, all right? <laughs> there, there, right there's a son of a bitch. Get on him. Eh, we'll get him. We'll get him. Well, wherever you are, you can't be better than Graceland. Your new life must be having you missing your old one, huh? All right, all right, that thing in a coffin. All right, was it a wax figure or, or did they ice some poor guy to take your place? Well, whoever that poor guy was, should have told him to pace your sideburns on a little bit better. Any idiot could see that they were peeling up at the edges. All right, all right, the Mason's Guild, huh? Or the feds, the, the feds! Give me a statement, Elvis. Uh, let me snap a few pictures. If you do, I will turn right and I will help you save your father. If not, He's getting away! Come on! Well, I guess it wasn't that important here. Why the hell are you stopping? I can wait. But can you, Daddy? Oh! 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 God! Oh! Oh, no, no, no! Wait, wait! Elvis! Elvis! No, no, no! Is that your truck? You mind moving it for me, please? I'm smoking here. Would you just please move your vehicle? Well, give me the keys in. If you won't move it, I will. Hey, buddy. Over behind you. 
Jesse, let him go or I'll shoot you. Please, sir, listen to him. Agent Colton, this man saved my life. I know. Do I know you? The agents will take the statement. <coughs> Mr. Presley, they're waiting for you. I, I, I want to thank him for what, pl please. For his good as much as yours. Goodbye. And thank you, whoever you are. Goodbye, sir. What are you doing here? I saw that he testified. He only did that because he saw how important it was to me. I had to protect him. I said we would keep an eye on him. Oh, hell of a good job you're doing at it, too. You can't go anywhere near your family. Do you understand? I got nothing. Nothing. I've been digging around for you. Heard you lost your job. Just felt like you might be searching. There's a bounty hunter. Okay, in your neck of the country. He says he may need a little bit of help. Elvis Presley's dead. You killed him. Go live your life. Morning, ma'am. Has anyone ever told you you look just like Elvis? Well, thank you. Thank you very much. It's you. I know it's you. You coming? Man, what a douchebag. He's dumber than a bag of bricks if he thinks that bad wig and 10 cent glasses from Woolworths is gonna pick up a spicy redhead like that. Even I have better sense than that. And I died three months ago. under citizen's arrest by the state of Michigan for fraud, tax evasion, and for being a terrible Elvis impersonator. <laughs> Good job, chick. You whore. What you say? That woman's the love of my life. That's the woman I'm gonna marry. Now you apologize to her. Sorry. Sorry, man. That's better.
Something about your smile that makes me mine, drives me out of my mind. Something about your kiss I can't resist, cause that little chick is mine. Baby, I love it when you sing. <laughs>